for our next news special report. Welcome to a special report you simply cannot afford to miss. Tonight we're dissecting a decision that's shaking the foundations of Washington, D.C. Imagine this, a court battle with the power to redefine the limits of presidential privacy and the reach of special counsels. The D.C. Appeals Court has just issued a ruling that's not just a win for the former president, but a resounding statement about the sanctity of private communications. In an era where digital privacy is as precious as gold, this decision is a treasure trove of implications and insights. So what does it mean for the future of presidential authority? How does it reshape the landscape of legal investigations in our republic? Well, stay with us as we unravel the complexities of this landmark ruling and reveal why this isn't just another court decision. It's a cornerstone in the ongoing saga of American liberty and justice. And don't miss our final thoughts on why this matters to you, the people of our great republic. Now, before I jump into our special report, a quick note, you know, the top-notch news we bring you every day, it's much like how demanding a healthy body is essential for overall well-being. Just as excess belly fat is a threat by pressuring vital organs unchecked, power can stress the very core of our legal system. That's why we, like many, are embracing innovative solutions. We're turning to this new substance, scientifically formulated, to reduce fat storage, boost metabolism, and manage weight, mirroring our approach to bring you the news that cuts right through the clutter, supports your understanding, and keeps our system healthy and balanced. Get your special offer at 51% off at TrimWithGary.com, available only this month until supplies run out. Now back to our special report on the D.C. Appeals Court pivotal decision. In a landmark ruling that's reverberating through the corridors of power, the D.C. Appeals Court has delivered a decisive blow to special counsel Jack Smith's efforts to pry into former President Trump's Twitter direct messages. This isn't just another courtroom skirmish. It's a battle with deep implications for the balance of power and sanctity of private communications. The court, in an unprecedented move, refused to rehear a case that would have allowed Smith access to Trump's private Twitter communications. Now, this decision underscores a fundamental principle. The privacy of a president's communications is not just a personal right, but a matter of national security and institutional integrity. Trump, never to mince words, previously slammed Jack Smith for what he described as an overreach of power and an invasion of privacy. In his typical direct no-nonsense style, Trump's comments not only underscored the personal impact of this case, but also highlighted the broader implications for presidential authority. Watch. Donald Trump wasted little time slamming special counsel Jack Smith's indictment, which charges Trump with 37 federal criminal counts, including obstruction and conspiracy. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. The charges allege Trump knowingly kept and risked exposing records with America's top secrets, including nuclear and military capabilities, showing some to a writer and to a political ally, and of trying to cover it up, attempting to convince his lawyers or to work around his lawyers to circumvent a search warrant. And I never thought such a thing could happen to America. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. Trump's fiery rhetoric is seen in the clip is more than just a response to a legal challenge. It's a rallying cry against what he sees as a pattern of targeted harassment by political adversaries. His words resonate with a significant portion of the American populace who view the ongoing investigations as a politically motivated witch hunt. And after watching Trump's impassioned response, it's clear this battle isn't just legal, it's deeply personal and political. His stance reflects a broader concern about the boundaries of legal investigations and the potential for abuse of power. Moving forward, let's delve into the lengths that Jack Smith's willing to go in his quest against Trump. The special counsel's tenacity is evident, but it raises critical questions about the balance of justice and political motivation. Smith's approach, aggressive and unyielding, is not without controversy. His actions, while legally justified in his view, are seen by many as a step too far in the pursuit of a former president. So this brings us to a critical development. Recent footage showcasing the extent of Smith's methods, including sending what Trump supporters describe as goons to enforce his directives. This video, while controversial, offers a rare glimpse into the tactics employed by Smith's team in their investigation. Watch. They were like, they just relentless. Yeah. They were relentless. New video obtained by the Ingram Angle reveals just how far special counsel Jack Smith's team will go in their investigation into Donald Trump. Body cam video worn by officers called to the home of a Georgia Trump co-defendant 
shows the aftermath of his encounter with FBI agents there to reportedly serve a grand jury subpoena. Former Black Voices for Trump director Harrison Floyd says he was going home with his daughter when men wearing suits looking like they, quote, popped out of the show Better Call Saul started running at him. I started yelling at one of them, like, who the f do you think you are? You're... I haven't seen any guy actually ever told me anything. I don't know who you are. Grabbing, grabbing, touching me. I mean, one of them is on the stairs. Has a, he, he goes like this, and he has a pistol in his hand. I never saw a badge. Yeah. I saw a gun though. Floyd was then arrested and charged with assaulting one of those agents. And joining me now. Unreal. Well, the footage is startling to say the least. It portrays a scenario that some would argue borders on intimidation. While supporters of the investigation may see this as a necessary step in upholding the law, others view it as an overstep, a breach of the norms and practices that should govern such high-profile investigations. The actions depicted in the video raise serious questions about the balance between enforcing the law and respecting the rights and dignity of individuals, even those under investigation. This is not just about Trump, it's about the standards we as a republic uphold in our pursuit of justice. Now let's pivot to the broader context. This ruling doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's part of an ongoing saga that touches on the very foundations of our republic's legal system. The D.C. Appeals Court's decision sends a clear message. There are limits to what can be done in the name of justice, and those limits apply even when dealing with high-profile figures like a former president. In assessing the significance of the ruling, it's crucial to consider the impact on future presidents. Today, it's Trump, but tomorrow it could be anyone sitting in the Oval Office. Now, this decision sets a precedent establishing boundaries for the kind of investigations that can be conducted into a president's private communications. The court's ruling also speaks to a larger issue in our society, the erosion of privacy in the digital age. In an era where every tweet, every message can be scrutinized, the court is drawing a line signaling a much needed reconsideration of what privacy means in the 21st century. Now, this ruling isn't just a legal victory for Trump, it's a vindication of a principle that goes beyond any single presidency. It's about safeguarding the office of the presidency itself from undue intrusion. This isn't just about politics, it's about the structural integrity of our republic's highest office. As we wrap up our analysis, let's not forget the human element of all of this. Trump, like any citizen, has rights that need to be respected. This case, with all of its complexity, ultimately boils down to a fundamental question. How do we balance the pursuit of justice with the preservation of individual liberties? In conclusion, the D.C. Appeals Court's decision is a watershed moment. It's a reminder that in our zeal to hold the powerful accountable, we must not overstep the bounds of legality and decency. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's not just about staying informed. It's about being part of a community that values truth, justice, and the American way. In this pivotal moment, the D.C. Appeals Court ruling stands not just as a triumph for a former president, but as a beacon of hope for the sanctity of private communication and the integrity of our republic. This decision reinforces a crucial message. In our great nation, even those in the highest offices have rights that must be zealously guarded. The actions of Jack Smith, while perhaps well-intentioned, they serve as a stark reminder of the fine lines between justice and overreach. His aggressive tactics, as we have witnessed, border on the excessive, underscoring the importance of restraint and balance in our legal proceedings. It's a cautionary tale that highlights the dangers of allowing political motives to cloud judicial judgment. And today's ruling is more than a legal verdict. It's a declaration that in the United States, the principles of fairness, privacy, and due process are not just ideals, but realities that protect all citizens, irrespective of their position. As we close this chapter, let's remember that in our republic, justice tempered with an unwavering respect for individual rights is the cornerstone of our society. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.